What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and something a little different today. People always ask me who would be my ultimate legends. So this is part one of my ultimate legends wish list. Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you think. All right, so let's start off with a center back beast, Marcel Desailly. What a player, lads. He had everything. He was the modern center back really before his time. Pace, power, able to read the ball, good in the air, could play across multiple positions and was quite quick as well. I loved him, even though I was never a Chelsea fan growing up, I did love watching him, and he was kind of in that ilk of those classic centre-back destroyers. I think he'd fit in with the game. Next up, we've got Alan Shearer. I mean, you can't have an ultimate wish list list without the Premier League's top ever goal scorer, record holder. Will Haaland beat it? Will Kane come back and beat it? Who knows? But he was a phenomenal finisher. I think they've had Dennis Law. They've had a couple of old school players. Alan Shearer definitely fits that bill within Zaggy. Kind of them type of players that are just pure goal scoring threats up front. That could be absolutely incredible to play with. We also have Carvalho. So I do have a couple of curveballs in. Don't worry, I will have a part two, three, and four to this because I want to get you guys involved as well with a, like a, a kind of subscriber wish list that I'll feature from all of you with your names and stuff um, if I miss any of them. But I've got some really cool names coming in parts two and three as well. So don't miss out on those and don't be complaining if I haven't your favorite player in here yet. We also have Tafarel. So Carvalho was a guy and Tafarel were players that I kind of grew up watching and grew up hearing about all the stories of them and watching highlights of them. Fantastic players, a bit old school, but I do think that there is a lot of centre backs and goalkeepers missing from the legend pool in Pez and eFootball uh, over the last couple of years. Zlatan needs no introduction. These aren't done in ranking order, lads, so it's not 1 to 10. We have some of the best ones at the, at the end, but it's not done in a ranking order. So Zlatan gets in as well. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I think he would be unbelievable as a legend card now that he's retired. And just give us Goat Zlatan. Give us the best version of him. Same with Robin, right? Robin is a Pez icon, one of the best players that ever played the game. Beautiful winger. Part of the reason why I liked Premier League football was when Jose Mourinho came to Chelsea and there was that rivalry there. Damien Duff on one end, Robin on the other. I loved that squad, even though I wasn't a Chelsea fan. That's why Carvalho probably gets in there as well. It's just kind of a nice memory of me and going up against Chelsea as a United fan that time. Um, Robin was a phenomenal player later on in his career as well. We also have Lucio. So when I think of dominant center backs, obviously you have a couple that are in the game already. Um, you know, the big, big names that are like kind of like really kind of the players that I would have grown up like uh, watching highlights of in the Champions League and stuff, right? Uh, Lucio does fit that bill as well. We have Maldini, we have Nesta, we have Puyol. We have a couple there. There is a couple in parts two and three videos that I will get into as well, which are quite exciting. But for me, Lucio is a tank. This man needs no introduction. Anyone that watches the streams, watches my channel, will know that I would literally, literally not be getting the girlfriend a, a birthday or Christmas present for the next two years, I'd say, if they brought out a Kino card, because I would just be emptying it all on him. I mean, he would be my ultimate wish list uh, player I think um, and I would just love him in the center of the park even if his stats weren't completely overpowered like Patrick Vieira's I definitely think he could be one of the best DMF anchormen's just to slot the ball around and put in a couple of crunching tackles if they slow the gameplay down I, I think he'd just be my ultimate man just to have Robbie Keane is a good option to have up front but Aquino in the middle of the pitch would be just brilliant especially as he's popular now on the Sky Sports broadcast and stuff next up we have Zinedine Zidane Again, another player that needs no introduction, and I just, I really want him to come. There was rumors of it. Let's see what happens. Obviously, these are all wish lists from me. Um, I think Zizou would be the would be the ultimate AMF. I mean, we've seen some brilliant AMFs: Zico, Kaka, Guti. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of different lads that have come. Schneider have come into eFootball as legends in the last couple of months and years. I definitely think Zidane fits the bill. Him and Iniesta are always my go-to in Pez going back the last 15 years for the ultimate attacking midfielder with Ronaldinho and Kaka thrown in there as well, maybe. We also have Pez 5 Thierry on Re. I mean, listen, lads. This was the ultimate, ultimate Pez player back in the day. Him and Adriano were probably the two main boys, right? Now, in parts two and three of this series of videos that I'm going to be doing, and who knows, there might be a four and five if it's popular and you guys like it, so give me a thumbs up if you do, and let me know in the comments below. Um, but I will feature year choices as well in a part four or five of this series. But Pez 5 on Re, when he was on the box art and he was on the cover of the game, I mean, he was absolutely insane the way he played. I still go back and look at clips of Henri that I have recorded on my old memory cards and goals I scored, and he was unbelievable. 
And then we have a bonus, right? So for this one, I really want a GOAT version of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? I think he's probably my favorite player of all time, him and Roy Keane. Uh, obviously, I'm biased because, listen, I do love Messi as well, man. As I've gotten a bit older, I've started to appreciate Messi a bit more as the pure baller. So, you know, we will be wanting a GOAT version of Messi in part two as well, spoiler alert. But a gold version of Ronaldo, when he was at the peak of his powers, man, he was unstoppable. Definitely the best player in the world at that time. And that's it. Who's on your wish list? Let me know. Let me know if my choices were good or bad, right? And also let me know who you would like to choose. I will have part two and three recorded as well. Um, and hopefully I hit some of the hit some of the targets. There's a couple of ch strange choices, you might say, and I might have missed out on a few people, but they might be in parts two and three and four. And get your thoughts in as well, and I'll do a subscriber one where you pick it uh, if I miss out on any. So let me know your thoughts. Who's your favorite player that I want? Mine would be Roy Keane or Ronaldo Goat version. 